Hey you guys, it's Philip Bloom here for Shutter Magazine, November issue, and uh, today is a good day. Um, often I'm teaching uh, you guys about uh, systems and techniques that we're using that are really um, have pushed our business uh, forward through the last eight, almost nine years uh, that, we've, that we've been working and growing our business. Uh, today is something that is even new for Eileen, my wife and me. Um, as we finally, after far too long, uh, begin to update our website. So updating our website, this is probably something that's on the back burner for a lot of you or in the back of your mind. Um, it's just one of those things that we didn't get around to uh, for ages. We've talked to some amazing uh, designers who have designed websites for our friends um, and, and fellow speakers on the photography circuit. And um, frankly, last year uh, just overwhelmed us. Uh, it was a real strain on our time and resources as we were in the adoption process for our son um, and traveling overseas to China for that. And the time and effort that normally going to website design um, did not take priority uh, as we would have liked it to, but uh, the, the right things happened in the right sequence. So uh, where we are now is inside of our Show It website uh, builder. So Show It 5 is um, a website builder a lot like uh, perhaps you could compare it in some ways to Wix or uh, I think Squarespace is a popular one. Um, uh, what, what I like about Show It is it's, it's designed specifically for photographers and we can go in there and, and create a website ourselves, click and drag, um, just drag and drop without knowing any coding. Um, so I'm going to show you guys uh, not a lot of the behind the scenes of Show It. You can go on their website and, and look at tutorials for that sort of thing. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today is the more important um, design concept behind updating our websites. So here's our website. You can see it's that simple uh, WordPress theme that we've had for years. And you know, maybe you think this looks pretty good. You know, the the, um, the work speaks for itself. Hopefully, it it represents us. There's not a lot of text or anything here. But what we found. Um, used to work, which was just having a professional looking website, doesn't really work as well anymore um, by any means. So eight years ago when we uh, started our business, not all photographers even had websites yet. Um, so just being present on the web, I think that, that was a boon to our business in the early years. Um, but you can see here, this website, although it's simple, is, a, is your basic splash page, which means that you arrive on this page there's nothing, there's no call to action, there's no, uh, there's nothing that really connects us with uh, potential clients other than options, that they have a lot of options of where to visit, and there's no clear direction of where they should go first. Um, so the problem with a page like this now, which many of our websites look like this, is that it is, um, it's very professional looking, but it has no personality. So when a, when a potential client lands on this page, uh, they get the sense that there's a business here, but they don't know who's behind it. They don't know if all these pictures were taken by the same photographer, if we're a team of photographers, um, if we're just uh, a business that's managing photographers out there, um, especially since our, the name of our business, yes, it's our last name, but people don't know that right away. Um, so personalizing your brand as much as possible, whether you name your business after yourself, first names, make it very personal. Um, but you'll see, if you click over to our new web page today, uh, it won't look like this. Uh, you can go to theblooms.co. You can also still go to bloomphotography.com. Um, and you'll find that now you have an introduction to the blooms. And instead of just our work, uh, the main page you land on is going to be about us. And that's what people are looking for now, personality. Um, so there's everyone looks professional, but who can they connect to? And if they can con connect to you and make that human connection by seeing your face, um, and you guide them to contact you right away, then that's going to lead to a much more, uh, a much higher booking rate uh, right off the bat. The other thing you can see down here is we have just a bunch of uh, little badges and things that we, as people have sent them to us because we were published, we just clipped them down here. It's very colorful, maybe a little messy, um, and not even updated. So we keep getting these every year and just couldn't fit anymore. Uh, these awards, so. Um, what we're going to do is find just the most impressive and important, and we'll still brand our page with these types of items, um, but instead of, we'll probably desaturate them and allow them to all uh, fit our brand better. So let me take you on to the next page. 
clicking on the blog here, the blog is really what our site is mostly about. This is where the action takes place most of the time. And I want to talk to you here about curating your work. So one thing that we have uh, not been great at, and I'm just kind of completely opening up to you today, um, website is something we have uh, really failed at, even though we understand the, the strategy behind it now and are really excited to, to launch the blooms.co. Um, but on our blog, we certainly um, post a lot. Uh, one thing about posting a lot of images in your blogs um, is faster. You don't have to take as much time to narrow it down to your favorites. Um, but when you do that, and I can just scroll through here if it loads up fast enough, um, it, it just, hopefully you're showing good work, but it's not going to represent only your best work. Um, so we're going to be narrowing down the number of images that we share on our blog um, by a lot. And beyond that, even on our, our uh, homepage that you, we sh showed you before, um, that we found the most successful website marketers are only showing, and get this, maybe like four or five images on this page. Um, maybe it's not even a slideshow. Maybe it's a, a banner at the top with one image um, and, a lo and your logo, but then it immediately feeds down into showing you, your bio, your headshot, your story, um, a welcome from you. And then down below, there's maybe a couple links that have some of your beautiful pictures uh, from weddings or portraits, whatever you shoot. And maybe just four to five images. I think this slideshow has 30 something images in it. Um, and you can sort of look on the stats on the back end of your website and see that even though that's all there, and I sort of put it in obsessively, I know when I put this together and just filled in the template, I felt as though I needed to um, get in every picture that might speak to someone uh, who comes to our website. But you look at the stats and you see that they're not sitting here looking through this whole slideshow. Um, they're not waiting for that last picture that's going to convince them to book. So all of that is really in my head and not good strategy. So the next thing I'm going to draw your attention to is do you have an ex uh, a, a hand-holding experience that you lead your client through? So we used to think of your website as kind of, we used to describe it as a storefront for your business, right? Um, a storefront uh, is kind of like at a department store, there's a window display and you can see the clothes and products that they offer. But I think we need to stop thinking of websites as storefronts because there's so many, the web is so full, so saturated now that people can just walk by store after store and never come in. Um, but once they see your window, once they step through your door, are you offering them a handheld experience? So for instance, um, if you owned a brick and mortar physical studio and a client came in off the street to ask, inquire information about what you do, you wouldn't just send them back out to look through your window and look at the pictures you've taken. Uh, if you did that, they would feel a little unwelcome and just w keep going. Uh, no, you would actually, they'd probably um, get physical brochures that you would give them. Um, you would talk to them, you'd ask them questions about themselves, right? You would find out uh, where they're from and you'd probably offer them uh, to follow up with an email to get more information to them. Um, and that's what I want you to think about here. Here's a part of our website for photographers um, where photographers can uh, connect with us, become part of our community, um, an online community where um, you also get free education. And so when, when photographers become part of that community with us, they get a free ebook, free education ongoing, but, but something to start out right away with uh, to help improve their business. Now, what if you did the same thing for your couples? So on this main page, when they come in, they see who you are, and then you offer them, um, here's, a, here's a PDF, here's an ebook you can use to help plan your wedding. Or think about, um, think about these tips to how to coordinate your clothes for your portrait session. And they can download it. And when they go to download it, it asks for their email. Just like in that in-person interaction, you might ask for that person's business card, ask for their email so you can send them follow-up information. What that means is, um, very, very effectively, uh, you don't just lose all these people who blow by your business and then go to the next website trying to compare photographer to photographer. Instead, you've given them something of value, and they've given you something of value, the opportunity to follow up with them and make a more meaningful connection than any of those other websites that they're just going to blow by the storefront window. So let's look at this next point, which I think is very important as well. And that is the point that video is king. Video really is taking over the internet. 
Um, and you can see this is our about page right now. I think very few people might click on this because they don't know that we want to introduce ourselves to them. So why hide this in a back corner of your website? Put that near the, the, home, the home screen. Um, but if you scroll down on this home page, even though when we look at our stats, we see a staggeringly low number of people who actually visit our site visit this page, uh, this is what we really want them to see. Um, so despite the few people, the, the low number of people who are seeing these videos, we are amazed at how many people contact us uh, through our, through our um, contact form on our website and mention these videos as a reason that they reached out to us and that they connected with us. Now, just imagine how many qualified inquiries we would be getting all these years if we had a video, just chose one of these, or maybe edited together some of them into a really nice bio video of ourselves and put that on our home screen where everyone saw it and connected with us. Um, so we had the right idea. We knew that video was important. We know it plays well on social media. Um, social websites like Facebook uh, and Instagram are, are uh, if you post videos instead of pictures, those get seen by more people. Now, especially if you promote them, you pay less for more people to see them because they want to promote video. Um, it's, but it's just really because of human nature and the way we interact um, and we want to connect with people. So by sharing videos of yourself, um, that's going to be huge. If you don't have, you know, if you don't have the money right now to afford a uh, video production crew to make a bio video for you, um, or if you haven't done, you know, this is our TED talk that we gave. If you haven't done something like that, that you have a video to share already, uh, I recommend going to animoto.com. Um, they have some amazing, I'll try to bring it up here. They have some amazing uh, marketing uh, videos now. So here's our uh, videos and I'll show you a marketing one here. Um, you can really create what's a very nice advertisement in video form. Um, and these advertisements, you can not only play them on Facebook, but embed them on the homepage of, of your own website. And there's just simple buttons here where you can um, take the embed code. There we go. So that gives you an idea. Um, you can take this video, plug in pictures of yourself working behind the scenes along with the resulting images. Um, and you'll have a really effective campaign and a, an effective website. All right, so lastly, let's look back up at the top here um, at some credibility factors. So we're on the About Us page. We've we, This is the extent that our website shows our credibility. You know, we've tried to show awards we've won. We haven't really kept this very updated. Um, you know, this, I think we've won this the following years after 2014, but we've never updated that graphic. Um, you know, if, if, if you show magazine covers from magazines that have published your work, I would avoid using the one that has the psychedelic rainbow colored brains on the cover. That really doesn't speak to your brand. So let's keep your branding consistent on your website, even if you're showing others work. The way we're going to do that on our new website, and if you click over there, you can see it now and, and see how we've improved things, um, is to take some of these amazing places where our work's been featured, like the Oprah Winfrey Network, etc. Um, and instead of having this colorful logo, we'll just show those logos in a nice muted box um, and only the most important ones. Uh, we're not going to put dates on there. We're going to keep dates out of it because we don't have the time to update those. And it actually takes away from our credibility if someone sees 2014 and thinks, oh, they haven't won anything since then. Um, it's been a while. You know, they're out of practice or something like that. So we're going to move those. And the most important bit of credibility that you have here um, under our CR is even hard to find. No one's ever going to find this. But under info, we have reviews. You don't need a reviews page um, by itself that no one is going to ever find. It's okay to have that page, but you want to take reviews of past clients. Um, and if you don't have these, you need to make a practice of asking for them. Uh, we send a survey to all of our clients and the ones who we know are happy. Um, we're going to ask them for a review very politely and, and they'll give it to us. So we have these uh, fantastic numbers of reviews on Google reviews and places. Um, but instead of just linking out to those reviews, um, we're going to take our favorite ones, really curate those just like we would curate photographs and again, put them on a home screen that you can imagine this home screen is starting to get a little bit long, right? But think of you when you're on your cell phone and you keep scrolling and scrolling. Um, websites today are really meant to be long form sales pages and that's how people interact with them the most. So this is going to be a long page and the more you scroll down, whether it's on your computer or more likely on your phone, <clears throat> um, 
you're going to get more and more information and, and develop more and more trust with us. As you immediately see down here, um, you'll see those client reviews and maybe see some of their actual faces so you can connect that this is a real person reviewing us instead of having to dig down here and find text reviews on a, on a, on a hidden page. Um, finally, what I just mentioned about um, the, the phone, the mobile way that people access our sites now, um, our friends who have switched over to show it now, uh, this is WordPress, you can view it on your phone, um, but it's really difficult to navigate and the menus are very uh, non-responsive, we found. So the beautiful thing about show it, your mobile site designed right next to um, your website. So uh, if you literally just click pieces and elements and drag and drop them around and then you can click on the phone and, and drag them around to different places so they show up better on people's phone screens when they bring it up. Um, and it's just really amazing de design tool. It's actually fun, really fun to put together uh, your own website, even for someone like me who can't design anything, doesn't understand technology. So um, now, since m the majority of web traffic is on mobile now, maybe 50 to 60%, where uh, this year I think it's coming up to 60% is all through phones. Um, and we're, we're not capturing any of those people because they basically can't access our website. And so we've been idiots. Uh, I'll say that nicely uh, as I can. Um, but, but make sure you're mobile friendly um, and that you have beautiful uh, opportunities like this for people to find you. So I hope that just gets your mind thinking about um, it's not all about SEO and the little ones and zeros behind your website. Your website. It's more about the human element and the design how that lends to marketing psychology, how it lends to the way people interact with your site. Um, and we're excited specifically because we have numerous friends who after switching over to this uh, mode of thinking to their show at sites, um, have had double their bookings about a week after launching their sites. Um, thanks to just the, the number of visitors that it pulls through. Um, it's kind of a guided experience for them rather than just another website that they're clicking past. Uh, if you go uh, right now to thebloomsco we're giving away a lot of exciting uh, giveaways, camera gear and software subscriptions, um, things that our partners are celebrating with us, the launch of our new website. Um, so we're really excited to share those with you. We hope you'll go and uh, hopefully win some of that stuff. So any tips, any questions you have, feel free to reach out to us. And uh, we're learning this right alongside you, um, which is, is kind of fun to to not feel like the expert and and what I'm trying to teach. Uh, we'll, so we'll see how it goes. We'll kind of update you with the results we get uh, inquiries wise through our new contact forms and all those things. So thanks. Thanks for, uh, you can probably tell I'm excited, <laughs> um, but thanks for tuning in and we'll talk to you more soon. Have a great week. Bye.